Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for November 4th through the 11th. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this reading might not be for you, right? I mean it's for somebody, not everybody. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, this reading's not for you. It's for people that are struggling. Somebody is struggling. Maybe they made a bad decision. Maybe you're contemplating on a decision that was made and now it's costing you some sort of money. You know, maybe there was a third party situation. I'm not sure, but somebody's not happy. Somebody is not happy. There's nothing to celebrate. I mean, I'm not saying that there's never anything to celebrate, but there's something that is, has happened that you're not celebrating. Okay. So there's something going on here. Maybe there was, somebody was juggling two people. I mean, hey, that could certainly be the case here. Um, oh my goodness. So there could be trouble on the home front. <laughs> there could be some, I know, I think I just did the Capricorn monthly reading for November. This is the weekly, the 4th through the 11th, November 4th through the 11th. There's some fight, fighting going on at home, right? Maybe because three's a crowd. Could be because of the children even. I'm not sure. Things could be... There could be some financial turmoil as well. Uh, looks like you... Have to be wise here. You're trying to be practical. You may be focused on your money at this time, really trying to bring structure back, working on trying to keep things stable. But you could be dealing with a water sign or any or another earth sign. You could be dealing with anybody who doesn't, somebody doesn't have good intentions. It's like you're dealing with a person or it's you, somebody in this dynamic. And it could, it could be the male, the male, the masculine is not communicating, they're withdrawn, they're detached, they're detaching themselves. Maybe if you if you are a male, you maybe you're focusing on your money more than you are love. Maybe you're giving more attention to your job than you are love. Or if you're a female, your male, your your masculine isn't really opening up emotionally. Somebody, the male in this dynamic is closed off by the looks of things. And maybe the security is being thrown away. Some sort of opportunity is being, there's a lost opportunity here. There's absolutely a lost opportunity. And this could be costly. I mean, I don't know. Somebody's needing to look at things from a new perspective. And it's probably you, Capricorn. Maybe you need to face some sort of struggle, some sort. Maybe you've been resisting a change and now it's time to get practical. Because there's a lot of arguing going on at home by the looks of things. Family feuds could be between children and parents or children and children or something like that. Or between the two of you. There's some arguing. Um, it's like, ah, there's some sort of... I mean, the Knight of Cups reverse, that's not love. This is not love. It's fake. It's fake. It's false. It's not love. It's not true love. It's not true love, especially when a third party gets involved, right? And we have a woman, probably, that's not being respected here. And she's not being respected because she don't have respect for herself. And when you don't have respect for yourself, that's what you put out and that's what you get back, you know? So we have a woman here that doesn't know her worth and somebody doesn't see her worth because she don't even know her worth. Damn it all. And somebody's walking away by the looks of things. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't need this opportunity that isn't solid and stable. If you want to involve another person, then you don't respect me and I deserve more. So what the hell is this? This does not look good. And I know some people, you know, they want to hear that fantasy. 
Please tell me the fantasy that everything is roses and fantasy, right? Well, that shit ain't real. That shit is not real. Any reading that you watch that is all roses and rainbows is not real. Somebody has been hanging on to a situation, perhaps for the money, perhaps for the stability, perhaps because it's practical, but there's fighting going on, Three, there's, there's arguing, it's like there's, there's no stability in it, even though, yeah, it may be materialistically stable, there may be assets, but as far as love goes, it's not love. And it's not stable. Because without love, it's not stable. Period. Without love, people look outside the relationship for another partner. They go play elsewhere if it ain't love. Because when there's love, they don't need to. Mm -mm. So it looks to me like there is somebody that is walking away. Maybe they're, they're heading towards another person. Or maybe they did. Maybe they went towards another person. And it looks as though you've, you've probably been hoping for the best. But it's not like you weren't getting yourself prepared for this. Because when it's not love, you feel it. You know, deep down inside, you know. At this time, I feel like this isn't something that you didn't see coming. You saw it coming. And now this is about respect. It's like going through the battle, coming out on the other hand, demanding respect. And being respected for holding your head up high. And going out on your own. Somebody is walking away from a third party situation. That's what I see. Out of respect for themselves. I do know my worth, even though you don't. Somebody is, is moving. They're moving towards happiness. Dropping something, dropping something that was heavy, dropping a burden, burden, letting go of responsibilities. This is too heavy for me. You don't, you don't see my beauty. You don't see what I have to offer. You don't respect me. You don't trust me. You don't love me. I'm moving. And I'm letting this go because it's too heavy. I don't need these responsibilities. I don't need to be disrespected. I don't need to deal with somebody who's not honest with me. Somebody has been lying. I don't need to deal with lies. All these lies are too heavy for me to carry. And I want to be happy. Yep. Dealing with somebody here. We have a couple that... We definitely have a couple with the King and Queen of Cups. They're both reversed. We have a couple that are no longer in love. And I'm sorry to say that. I'm sure you could find a reader to change this up for you. But it's going to be hard. Because these cards are pretty clear cut. We have a couple... That is no longer in love. And they've been in denial. Pretending that they are happy. Pretending that they are happy. And it's been weighing very heavily. And somebody is deciding to walk away. And be on their own. Because they're ready for abundance. They're ready for growth. They're ready to be respected. Somebody is finding their confidence to hold their head up high. 
and move. It looks like move out. Even though it hurts. And this is a message you don't want to hear, right? Because pretending is easier. It is. It's a hell of a lot fucking easier to pretend. But it's not real. If you want to be in denial, feel free to look for 10 other readers that will tell you what you want to hear. But you will continue to suffer by lying. Somebody is want, not wanting to wake up. You know that wide awake song? Somebody ain't wide awake. They don't want to be awake. I'd rather be asleep. Please don't tell me the truth. I don't want to hear the fucking truth. No truth, please. Because it hurts. Truth does hurt. Somebody's deciding to set some boundaries and give up on a situation. I'm not going to fight for something by myself. It takes two to make something work. And somebody's been doing all the work. And now it's time to release this tension and stop playing this game. I'm not going to play tug of war with you. I'm not going to play this game with you. I'm not going to compete with you. Somebody has been holding on, refusing to move on for the money. But now it looks as though they want happiness. I want happiness. Somebody is deciding that it's time to leave the past hurts behind. Forgive. And stop playing. Stop playing the game. Somebody is deciding to leave. No shit. Deciding to leave the, the hurt behind. I'm ready to leave this hurt behind. They've thought about it. It's not like this was an overnight decision. This, is, this has been going on for a while. Somebody has been in the process of deciding, should I stay or should I go? Getting prepared for it, but not really accepting it. But now it's like, whoo! You probably realize that this is a toxic situation. Right, Capricorn? It's based on everything but love. That's what this card is. Everything but love. Money, greed, lust, codependency, everything but love. Toxic. The devil brings lies. Not saying that you're the liar here. But somebody has been lying about their true feelings. And now there's an opportunity to heal and receive wish fulfillment. Because it looks like there's a new opportunity that is being presented to you after you move on this is liberation freedom this is freedom this is personal freedom liberation an opportunity to free yourself from this toxic bond no shit But consider this a blessing in disguise that you're going through this now. Because by summertime, if you walk away, you will be extremely happy by summertime. But you have to this is you have to break these chains. You have to break these chains with the lies. There's there's hope for a better future. There's hope for happiness by summer. 
You will find wish fulfillment by summer if you free liberate. Dead end situation. Death of an idea. Take a break. Take a time out. Let yourself heal. Go within. Become aware. Start, go, start a new spiritual journey. And wake up. There's been some secrets that somebody's been hiding. There's been a one-sided situation where somebody hasn't been putting in the equal effort because they're not they're not interested anymore. Now it's time for you to start your new beginning. Take a risk. Start over. So you do have a new beginning here that is coming about after you walk away from a dead end situation that isn't love and you know it. Whoever this is for, you know it. It's clear as day. There's been some cheating. There's issues with the children, perhaps. And somebody feels that they would be better off on their own. They'd be more abundant. And they're walking away. For those of you that are single, there's a new beginning coming. This is a new beginning by summertime. You will find your wish fulfillment by summertime for those of you that have, have reached this point. It, zero is before number one, right? So if you've reached this point of being at zero, it's a brand new beginning, like brand spanking new by summertime. But right now you're going through a period of taking a break. So right now it's about taking a break and healing. It's healing right now. It's a healing period right now. Whether you've been single for 10 months or whatever, however long you've been single for, it's a period, it's a period of rest and rejuvenation. By summertime, you're going to find a new beginning with a wish fulfillment by summer. For those of you that are still trapped in this lie, it's time to walk away out of self-respect. So that by summertime, you will be shining again so that you will glow again, so that you will find the wish fulfillment that you, that you deserve. Right now, somebody's not getting what they deserve because they got to walk away to get that. I mean, that's what this is. There's something going on behind the scenes. There's secrets and lies here. There is. There absolutely is. There's deception. Confusion. Somebody is not spilling the beans, okay? They, they're keeping something in, and you know it. You know it, but you can't make this person talk, right? <laughs> but there's, this is a new opportunity for love, brand new coming in. Brand new opportunity for love. But you have to be patient. Divine timing. This is a card of evolving and allowing yourself to evolve. Making compromises. Allowing things to play out in God's time, the universe's time. Patience is needed. Healing is needed. Before you find this true love. So I feel like at this point, there's a goodbye on the horizon. If it hasn't happened already. And somebody is in the beginning stages or they're in the stages of healing, because we got healing right here on the side of this fool. 
They're in the period, they're, they're going to go through a period of liberation and freedom and breaking a bond, a toxic bond. And by summertime, we, I mean, we have healing all over, healing, healing, healing. And then this is wish fulfillment. By summertime, you will find the love that you deserve. But this is a time of healing and working on yourself working on enjoying life, getting your self-worth back, because somebody didn't see their worth, and it takes a minute to get that shit back, right? So I feel like this is a week of, of healing, of refocusing, figuring out where you want to be, planning for the future with that three of wands. Where do I want to be? Going within, becoming aware, Listening to your intuition and manifesting new love. Do I see that there's new love coming right now this week? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't. I think that patience is needed for this to come in. Because somebody is in a false love situation right now that whether they're single or not it's like they, they haven't released it yet they haven't healed it yet somebody needs to release a love situation that really isn't love it hasn't been healed yet period and you got to be practical and i think now this week the the 4th through 11th is about your abundance your financial abundance and you know I'm going to work on me so that I can be ready. Yeah, I don't want any disasters. I don't I don't want a strong foundation, not a false one. And it takes time to build a strong foundation. So somebody has been in a false foundation, false false contract, false commitment. That was toxic. That is toxic. And they do have a they do have an opportunity to break free to walk away, and they might be you. Some of you are walking away this week. There's a fight that happens, a family feud where somebody moves out. No shit. Okay. For some of you, you've already done this, and you're still healing. It's a time of me. You get it? Me. It's time of me. Working on me. Do I see anybody accepting new love? No, maybe sex with that devil card. Yeah, we might. I mean, there may be some sex, but as far as this turning out to be love, I don't see it because it's not the right time. So I feel like this is a week of perhaps somebody, some kind of secrets coming out, perhaps with that moon and high priestess. There is definitely some secrets, whether they come out now or not. They're gonna come out eventually. There's definitely some fighting at home, some arguments that may send somebody packing. If you're single, I think that, I mean, if you are single, there could be a new opportunity of love that presents itself, but I think that you're still healing and you might not go full throttle till summertime. I think that things are going to get better by summer, but this is a period of healing, hope, inspiration, serenity, Getting yourself back in your element. Getting yourself back together. This is, probably does have to do with children as well. Children are, are in the mix here. Um, but we do have a new beginning coming about after somebody frees themselves. But I think this is a week of freedom. Personal freedom of breaking that chain. Breaking that bond. And I know that's not what anybody wants to hear. But reality. And that moon card upright is not wanting to face reality. I don't want to hear the reality. I don't want to face the reality. I'd rather live in fantasy land. I'd rather pretend that everything's okay. And it's right under here. Pretending that everything's okay is only going to make it worse. It's not. It's not going to make it better. It's an illusion. It's escaping. It's escapism. Don't tell me what I don't want to hear. I'd rather escape it. Well, you go ahead and escape it. Sooner or later, it's going to rear, rear its ugly head. And it will be much worse. The longer you, you hide it, the worse it gets. The bigger the lie. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. In the summertime. Woo! 
Perfect. Perfect. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Whether you are single and still holding on to the one that didn't respect you, it's time. That's where you're going through. Or you're with somebody now and it's not love, it's time to release so that you can move towards extreme bliss. So I feel like this is a time of healing, liberation, and release. And it's getting you prepared, with that Three of Wands, is getting you prepared for the love that you deserve. And I feel like this love that you deserve will make you very, very happy in the summertime. It's not that you won't, you don't meet this person. You, maybe you'll meet this person. You never know when you're going to meet them. You could meet them now. You could meet them in the summer. But by summertime, you're going to be extremely happy after you liberate, say goodbye, and release whoever it is you need to release. You know who it is. And by pretending and not wanting to face reality, all it's going to do is get bigger and worse. Good luck.